Hello everybody, Jared Johnson here. Thanks for being with me for a few minutes today. I had a great interview yesterday with FX Street and Dell Pinkert, great guy, and we were talking about a couple of different currency pairs and we talked a lot about the Euro dollar and I talked about some ideas I had for some long-term trading on Euro dollar. And I think there's some really good ideas for some short-term trading as well. Euro dollar sometimes is thought of as a bit of a boring currency pair. I think we have some great opportunities on this Euro dollar right now and it should give us some pretty good pips. A few things that I'm looking at so far are as follows. I talked about in the long term that I think Euro dollar is doing a little bit of this. If we look at a big weekly chart, we saw a huge breakout back here and it has been holding above this breakout trend line very nicely. This is a weekly chart. Remember, this goes back uh, all the way into the highs of 2014. It's almost a two-year-old trend line now and we had a nice big breakout and the Euro dollar has been holding above that. We've got a few important little levels at play. What I think has a very high probability of happening if a few other things happen. I think we're going to make it into 1,800. I think currently sitting at about 110, that is a fantastic 800 pip trade. If anybody is not interested in making 800 pips, I don't know what to say because it's going to be an awesome trade. Here's what I want to see happen in the short term. It's not uncommon for these big breakouts to happen and for the market to retest those big breakout trend lines. And that's what I think could happen here on the Euro dollar with this big long-term weekly trend line. Here's how I'm going to play this in the short term. We have three very important levels right now, and they are as follows. This is 110.50. You can see over the last several days, basically all week long, that the Euro dollar has struggled with 110.50. It hits it and it falls off, hits, falls off, hits, falls off. We've had a bunch of tests of 110.50. I think if the Euro dollar can get above 110.50 and stay above 110.50, then we're on our way, we're on the journey up into those higher numbers. An easier kind of short-term profit target, I think, from 110.50 would be 111.50, a quick 100 pip trade. Does anybody not like making 100 pips on a trade? Has anybody never made 100 pips on a trade? If you haven't, this could be your opportunity. I know when I first started trading, it was pretty difficult to make 100 pips on a single trade, but there's a lot of great opportunities out there to do it, and this could be one of those. So above 110.50, I'm looking for 111.50 on Euro dollar, and I think there's a really great chance of that hitting. The next level that I think is pretty interesting is about the 110 area. We've bounced a lot around 110. This may or may not be a trade that I take right here. A break from 110 I think could give us a nice move into 109.50. So just a little 50 pip run. I'm less excited about this one because I think there could be some residual chop in there. What I'm most excited about is 110.50 and 109.50. This 110 is kind of middle ground. If you're an experienced trader, there may be some decent opportunities to trade the break and grab 30 to 50 pips on the way down from 110 to 109.50. I don't think it's going to be too crazy or too difficult to get a move above 110.50 to 111, but the 110 to 109.50 might be tricky. However, if we get a break of 109.50, I think we have another 100 pip trade into 108.50 at least and probably beyond. 108.50 and or 10800 puts us into the retest of this trend line. Remember, I am a buyer on Euro dollar long term that is above 10800. Now, if we break 10950, which is this low right here, I think we could be headed in to retest this trend line which is right about 10800, which is my break level. If the euro breaks below 10800, I'm bearish this pair. I think there will be a nice short-term opportunity to sell the 10950 area down to 10850 and even 10800. As long as that level holds, then long-term I'll stay bullish. But if it breaks 10950, breaks 10800, then I'm getting bearish. But I think there's a great opportunity from for 100 pips uh, above 110.50 and 100 pips below 109.50. I hope you make some crazy good money on this currency pair. There's some great long-term trades and some nice short-term trades in play. Good luck, happy trading, and I'll see you soon.